Hey everyone, welcome to the Absurdly Nerd Podcast. If you're here with us on day one, it means the world to us. This podcast has been a dream of ours for years, and we finally went through with making it happen. We're completely new to this, so there are things we'll improve on as we get more comfortable with both the technical side of podcasting and also get more comfortable behind the mic. Everyone has to start somewhere, so we chose to do this 2022 video game preview as our very first episode because we think it can give listeners a good idea of what types of games each of us are interested in. It's quite a bit longer than the weekly content we have planned going forward, but I think it's a great start to getting to know us. Thank you so much for visiting our channel, and I hope you enjoy the episode. The year of 2022 in preview. We're going to talk about what we're looking forward to. Yeah, and we decided we're going to do a hype scale, and that should pop up on the screen uh, right now. Right now, I'll say. Uh, and we're going to go through the first we're going to go through the ones that have dates starting with Pokemon. We'll get to that in a minute. And, uh, it'll be a one through 10 scale and, uh, we'll just get right into it then I guess. So Pokemon is the first game coming. It's at the end of this month, what, January 29th. And, uh, where do y'all fall on this? I know I'll save mine. Is this the Pokemon I Arceus? Ar Arceus, yeah. Pokemon Arceus, Arceus or Arceus. Mm. I'm a seven. A seven? Yeah. That surprises me. Well, I, I liked it even more, but as I'm watching it, I knew that I liked Sword and Shield until I just fell off and didn't play it. So I feel like this is going to be the same way. That's I'd fair. say I'm in a seven, too. Uh, the last gameplay that came out, what's it, about a week, week or so ago, looked the best it's looked so far. Still a little empty looking. That's the, you know... The frame rate's still a little off, but I mean, I like the style. You know, something new for Pokemon. I think that's the the big thing is it being something okay. new, like a new direction, different gameplay than your turn based style. You know, it'd be a little that's different. Fair. I feel like it's well. I'll, I'll say my I'm a four on it. Uh, and what is this that, that on the scale? I don't have it pulled up. Oh, it's a. Uh, what are both of those seven and four? Uh, seven is excited to play, but not totally invested at this point. Oh, okay. And four is. Do not have plans to play it. Could possibly be convinced by release. Okay. Uh, yeah, I remember that being it for me. Uh, the thing that draws me in is the comparisons to Breath of the Wild. Like, because they, it is postured as their big game of the year right now. Uh, and if it can capture the adventure of Breath of the Wild, even though I'm not the biggest fan of breath of the wild personally uh it does have that scope that is you know something you look forward to in a in a big nintendo game uh but that's why i could be convinced but right now i'm still i just i don't like that combat uh, i can never get into the turn-based stuff and i feel like it's something if i spent money on i would regret it like i did with with pokemon go <laughs> yeah oh yeah uh, not go pokemon uh let's go let's go let's go which, uh so I'm in wait and see mode. If it comes out and it has banger reviews, I feel like the reception on it right now is kind of lukewarm. Oh yeah, like, it's not very high. Yeah, right there's now. not a, and that it being a Pokemon game that seems worrisome to me. Like the uh, like people are seeing what I'm seeing with it. Like you said, being empty. Well, I, you know, it really hasn't had its time to shine. Like in a direct, I mean, just besides the Pokemon directs, but like it, it hadn't really shown off what this is going. Why yeah. you should be excited about this? I mean, besides Pokemon, name. that is surprising because generally in the past couple of years they've done that. If they had a chance to do a direct focus on one game, they were doing that rather than showing things that are you know a ways off. They'd rather spend twenty minutes on a specific game, and this seems like a big enough game to do that on. I don't know. Uh, again, wait and see mode. Uh, I'm surprised by Cole's. Reaction to I didn't I didn't know if you had plans to play it well, actually. Uh, the like the games that I'd always played of Pokemon growing up were the Game Boy Advance games and shit like that. Yeah. And then I got Sword and Shield, fell off of it, and got back on it. And I love what I played of it, and I love like <clears throat> having a Pokemon for every weakness and type or whatever. And uh, this one looks kind of cool, but I think it's just going to be the same like. I want to be hyped for it, and I'm easily hyped. Like, I'll watch a trailer for anything and get hyped. Yeah. And then you guys will start pouring stuff out, and I'll be like, ah, oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to kind of temper. I'm a seven, but I could easily not play this game. Yeah. I'll wait for y'all to report back to me on that. Uh, 
and check out reviews and everything. But that'll be the first big review of the year, you know. So uh, we may get into that a little deeper once it comes out, depending on where it falls. Uh, but following that, oh, that one's actually been moved since we made the list. Dying Light Two. That'll come at the. We'll move that to the end of the list here. Uh, Crossfire X. Uh, I think the beta for the multiplayer has been out. I don't know. I haven't heard I much. Uh, I think it did release at least for a limited time, and that people were kind of here or there on it. it. Wasn't anything big. But this will be the campaign, which I am excited for because Remedy is doing that, and they generally do well when it comes to story focused things i don't know what that'll be in a game like that that seems like more of a multiplayer tune thing but i'm uh sitting at a six on it uh it, it it's fine i'm um, perfectly average hype i will play it it'll be on game pass so that's a bump for it it probably would have been a little lower if i had to actually spend money on oh, it. oh i didn't know it was on game pass yeah that, that, that helps changes, it. Yeah. yeah if it i mean what i want it to be is a eight to twelve hour campaign linear yeah. completely linear i don't need any kind of <laughs> yeah i'll play any campaign especially yeah. if it's an fps i'll play any campaign. i, I want it to lead me through it well uh how, how are y'all feeling on that one well i was i was sitting pretty low on it i mean i don't really don't care about fps multiplayer shooters Unless they're really good. Like, yeah. how many war shooters do I need? I mean, I've played every Call of Duty, um, except for the last one. And, and just got Halo. <laughs> yeah, we just got Halo. I was sitting at a, a four, but um, now I'm at a five because it's on Game Pass. Yeah. Uh, I'm still sitting at a four, just because it's... And we, once I hear more about it, I may jump in, you know, I may yeah, jump into yeah. it, but it's not really on my radar. I forgot it was this year. Besides the, and I usually forget about it until it's at E3 or one of the showcases. Yeah, and but, any uh, character that you play as that's got long hair and a hat, <laughs> uh, not, I'm not interested. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, cast all of them. Yeah, dude. I mean, I have long, I have long hair and wear a hat. <laughs> no, you're not. I don't. I don't even like myself. <laughs> Uh, after that, though, we get Sifu in February. How are y'all feeling on that? Uh, I'm at an eight. A day one purchase. I'm going to get it. I'm excited to play it. I've been excited for, since the first showing, and it still has stayed at that excitement level. It's, gameplay looks clean. I love the combat. I love how smooth. It looks like it's going to play really, really smooth. Uh, the systems look like it's going to be real fun to play. A lot of replayability from what it looks like. I don't know. I think it's going to be real fun. Yeah, uh, I'm sitting at an eight too. Uh, I'm definitely gonna get it. Uh, it's not as high just because I feel like it's, it could be one note. You know, yeah. it could just be that it's fun gameplay with nothing really to come back to other than you know that. Uh, but yeah, that that'd be my skepticism with it is that I haven't seen enough to entrance me in that world to bring me. Yeah, you may not be. You may be doing something in the level. 10 as you're doing a level exactly one. Yeah, that's yeah. my concern with it and it's it's a 50 dollars price point right? yeah 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 the fact they've only shown that first level like any kind of in-depth makes me think it's probably going to be a lot shorter than yeah you know i mean obviously it's going to depend on your skill level at it and there will be replayability i'm sure with each level but i feel like it's not going to be that long of a game if you just straight through it you know well, here I was, getting ready to say an eight, and then you had to say what you had to say, and I kind of <laughs> agree with you. you. First. <laughs> uh, I think I'm at a seven now. I mean, I'll wait till you guys get it to eventually. Yeah, I wish it was physical copy. Well, I'll, that might be a good one for, you know, yeah, to uh, trade in. Or, or to at least trade to each other. Yeah. Because you know? yeah. I think we could get through it in a week and probably not look back. And yeah, I'll just go over to Eric's person. before he. Yeah, that's a good way to do yeah. it. Yeah. Because, uh, I mean, as many games are coming out in quarter one this year, we're going to have to do that. With some oh, yeah. Uh, okay, let me get back to the list and see where we're at next. Oh, Horizon Forbidden West. And for me, that's the first you know mega release of the year. Uh, but I'm sitting at an eight just because I, it, I think it's more the size of the game. I mean, that's a positive in a certain way, but also it stresses me out just how much – I'm going to be doing, and I think it's a product of the release date. If it was not around so much, I wouldn't be as you know worried about it that way. It's nothing to do with the, I know the game's going to be quality, but I think that's just, it brings my hype down because I know what's coming right after it, you know, and it, it's a little bit of stress there. How about you, Cole? Me? Mm -hmm. um, 
personally, it's not. I remember, remember playing the first one, and I've started the first one three or four times, and I'm never. It's never caught on. Um, but I'm willing to give this one a try. But I just have an Xbox, so I won't be playing it well, until it, I get a PS5. Yeah, it's on PS4. It's on PS4. Yeah. Okay. Not the best way to play it, but yeah, I, it'll. Yeah. They'll, It'll be good. It's uh, yeah, it's on both. Okay, so I'll probably say, uh, well, it's an open world that I can dive into. It'll probably be an eight, eight for me. Yeah. Um. So I just beat the first one this week. I got off of it for years, but this little indie title called Breath of the Wild came out, and I got <laughs> off of Horizon. And uh, so I finally wrote credits on it. Beat it this year. Been really not really into the new one as far as the trailers is until game awards and they showed that trailer at game awards that was really good and i'll say it looks you know like it's gonna be better way better than the first one i'm sitting at a nine I'm nice gonna, i mean i'm really excited to play this i think it's gonna be just 10 times better than the original it's been hard to pin you down on this game because i know at times you've been it's been a bit of a like a task for you you just work because you wanted to get through it before this one yeah uh, granted you had four years to do that five now yeah. almost yeah uh but sometimes a big game like that you just keep going back to it and you know and getting a little further and falling off for whatever reason uh but i'm glad to hear you're in nine because i was worried you were going to beat it and have this thing to tell us that you know you didn't really you know like it was just oh, I, I really <laughs> you know the, the thing i'm around about on horizon which is its own thing too is i love love the gameplay as far as the combat and stuff, right. it, you know, once you get used to it, it get back into that rhythm. It's fun. I think I'm lesser on the story because it's just so much of it. No, yeah. I think you, yeah, I think coming back to it like you did was probably took away from it yeah. because that game, like you said, there's so many systems. Every time you come back, you have to relearn them. You know, it's not the greatest way to experience it. The best time I had with it was I played every day for about five days straight and put like almost 30 hours into it and i had a great time because i ever everything's fresh to me you know I, I knew what i was doing every time i got in there uh but i wound up falling off before i beat it and i still got to finish it before this one comes out but i think that's why i'm sitting at an eight two once i beat it i'll probably be sitting closer to a nine uh but yeah definitely looking forward to that one uh elden ring is following that and and that i'm gonna go ahead and Say my piece on that one because start her off. That's a lot to do with why Horizon hype yes, scales yeah. a little low because it's the thing in between me and Elden Ring, and it's this big game that I want to give its time, but I know that's the you know just directly a month in front of Elden Ring, and uh, I'm sitting at a ten on that game. It's I love Dark First Souls. First ten of the day. You know I love Dark Souls. Leave it and to Souls squirrels. likes, uh, and this looks like the ultimate Souls like. Uh, there's nothing negative about the lead up to this they've done it all right in my opinion uh how about you yeah i'm gonna shoot all uh, i'm sitting at a nine i'm very excited for this game I'm gonna you know gonna buy it day one gonna play it the only reason it's keeping me from being a 10 and being all into it is i'm worried that i'm gonna follow the same path as other dark souls and get my ass kicked and then just drop off of it but i, I mean i'm hoping that the open worldness of it keeps it where i can if I get stuck in one place, I go, can go to another. another one. Yeah. So I, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm done. Oh, so uh, me, I'm at a nine. Uh, yeah, I know. Surprising. Um, the only thing that's not keeping me from doing a ten is it's uh, the people who made Dark Souls, and those games are super punishing. And also, like, uh, I haven't really had a whole lot of time to play them. When I have time to play them, it's when I'm up over at y'all's house. I think if I sat down, especially with uh, Demon Souls, if I sat down with that on, on my own, I'd probably be pretty good at it. I'd like it. But open world, uh, from what I've seen, you could just go to an area and just fight a freaking giant dragon. That's dope as hell. Uh, Bloodborne was dope. I loved it, what I played of it. And Sekiro looked cool. I mean, but it just looked super fast-paced. And I do not have the, um, what is it, the... Uh, reflexes <laughs> Re yeah, exactly yeah. don't have the reflexes for it yeah, uh but them. this game looks so sick i'm just gonna make a freaking chunky boy with a shield and just I, i'm glad tear dragon uh, off. i was concerned just because you're not into that type of game as much but this is the ultimate entry point for anyone that 
has struggled in the past but wanted to you know enjoy dark souls games i think this is going to be the one that can do it because of the open world you can go around and it's going to have more of the rpg elements that's why sekiro a lot of people couldn't get into because it didn't give you the option to just go level up and, and and get better and come back uh but the open world can help with that i will say that's the only i'm still at a 10 and i'm not coming off of that but the open world concerns me a little bit just because i'm so used to the it's not full linear in most dark souls but it's generally you're going you're in going one direction the same path yeah right i mean it does that thing where you can look back and from one area and see another area and that makes it feel bigger but uh i've lately i've had a hard time sticking with open world games but i think since it's a souls like it'll get me through it uh but yeah that's a that's a big one first 10 of the day uh what's next oh just a little game called shredders and it's actually a little game uh we didn't go over this one before. The so you, have y'all seen this at all? I don't think so. I don't think I've seen uh, it. I've seen this. Really? It was at uh, E3, I believe, for Microsoft. Refresh me. Give me a rundown. It's a snowboarding game. Oh, okay. Uh, no, I think I've seen. Um... They showed it the same week. I mean, it was E3. I'm pretty sure. Right after they showed uh, Riders Republic, and a lot of people were picking and choosing which ones. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, but it's more of a sim. It's not going to be as. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. It's more Forza Motorsport and not Forza Horizon. Right. That, that's a good way of putting it. Uh, but for me, I'm sitting at a five. Uh, I, I'll probably check it out, but I'm not expecting a lot. Like I do like snowboarding games, but it's not something I'd ever invest myself in. Yeah. Uh, but it's going to be on Game Pass. That was my next question. Yeah. That, that, that helps it so much. Uh, yeah. Being able to check in for free, I might, it might hook me on that. I didn't love Riders Republic though, so I think I would like something that's a little tighter, you yeah. know, a little more sim. Uh, what about you, Eric? Um, I'm not big on, you know, those kinds of games. I mean, I would definitely play it since I'm on Game Pass. There's no harm in trying it. Yeah. I'd say I'm probably at a four or five on it just to see what that, see what the reception is, and I'll come to it if it's up high. That's fair. What about you, Cole? I am at a five. Um, I wasn't, never heard of it, but. I do remember you uh, watching that and seeing that and yeah. thinking, oh, this Rise of Republic is going to be way better. And then I haven't heard anything about Rise of Republic since it came out. Well, nothing yeah, like some great. Some people really like it, and then others, it just wasn't their cup of tea. Like, it's kind of a here and there. You know, some people are super into it. Uh, but I think this one benefits from it isn't going to be microtransactioned yeah. out of the, you know. Yeah, and it's on Game Pass, so I will definitely yeah. play it. I mean, I'll play almost anything on Game Pass. But uh, moving on from there to Triangle Strategy. Woo! And this, we're into March now, right? That's March? Yeah, it's March. Where are y'all sitting on this? I'll, I won't go first this time. Uh, Definitely at a seven. Seven. I, I, like, the, I like the Autopath enough to, you know, I, this one definitely is more my, I mean, I like turn base, but I didn't like the grindingness of Autopath. Right. I feel like this would be a little less that, a little more. You know, you're seeing all the pieces move at once, actually. It looks good. I didn't try the demo. They did put out a demo. I think it's still up, but I didn't try it. I, I'd rather just go into it and then not have to replay. Does it have random encounters? And that will affect my score by at least one point. <laughs> I'm not sure. Yeah. Well, I'll keep it the same then until <laughs> I mean, I'm just, see I, on that too. <laughs> I'm trying to think on that where you're having the whole – grid and stuff it'd be hard to do uh I, random uh, encounters because i mean you had to set that up you know yeah i'm gonna go with call or let call go first and then i'll, I'll so my it. hype level is probably at a six for this uh i love the way octopath traveler's art style looks i love the way this art style looks but uh, i'm not a, like i'm not a big grid turn-based kind of guy but for the right story and and the right uh, look, I could probably get invested in this. You know, it's something I'll keep an eye out on. I'm at a three, uh, a solid three. I I can understand. I can appreciate the things about it. I played a lot of Octopath because I wanted to like it so much. I kept thinking, okay, it's going to click. It's going to click. Uh, I definitely don't like simple turn base like that. Grid helps a little bit. I don't like the way this one looks as much for some reason. I mean, it, it's similar, but... The way it's been presented hasn't been as beautiful, like focus on the art beautiful as uh, Octopath. And, and the story I'm not really getting from these trailers, it doesn't 
know, and, and pre- presented to me like Octopath was. It looks a little busy on screen. It, I can it say does, that. Yeah, the trailer is. Yeah, it's it's busy for sure in that in that trailer, that last one. Uh, yeah, I'd say a three. And again, if it doesn't have random encounters, and I can just go through the story and progress without getting stopped over and over again then I'll put it at a four and see how y'all feel about it, you know, and like maybe I'll work into it. Cause if you're getting it, then I'll just borrow it and give it a right. shot, you know, yeah. <clears throat> but, uh, we're going to tiny Tina's wonderlands next. Oh yeah, baby. And, uh, that's another big one for me. Uh, what is that? Mar- uh, that's March. March. Yep. Uh, March 24th. Yeah. Uh, I got a nine on that one, uh, close to a 10, but I had to put it in like in relation to Elden Ring. I'm not as high, like it, but it's very high. It's a different thing. You know, it's very, very different. It's cause I'm going to play with y'all. And so I know I'm going to have a good time with it. I'm a huge Borderlands fan. Borderlands two is on any given day. Could be my favorite game ever. It's between that and Knights of the Old Republic as I know. Uh, but yeah, I want to see what y'all have to say about it. Though. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I'm sitting at eight. Gonna buy it day one and plan on playing it with y'all. The only reason it's a little lower for me is I bought Borderlands th- three day one and I fell off it fairly fast. But I think this one to have enough. I'm more interested. I'm already more interested in the story of this one just by the trailers than I was. I mean, I love the fantasy elements and stuff, and the you know melee and all that being added. I don't know, I'm really excited for it. I can't wait to play it. I'm at a nine, uh, almost a ten, um, but I do have a little bit of fear. Um, as I said, like I'm with Merle on the Borderlands two is the best. I mean, it's just amazing. And then three, I don't know what it is. Um, it's not great. It's not. There is something about it that just makes it not as good as two. I don't know what it is, and I still love playing it. But there, I just hope. And I think with them following this crazy story and them having leeway to do whatever they want, it'll be awesome. So yeah. I, I'm I'm leaning more towards a ten, but I'm just gonna sit at nine right now. I think uh, with it not being connected to another story specifically, like three had to play off of two. It's a lot to live up to. Yeah. One of the best villains ever. Uh, I did enjoy three, but obviously the story just wasn't as good. The gameplay after going back to two and us playing the DLC a little bit for two the gameplay i was missing all the stuff that was there and yes the slide the slide slide and everything feels so smooth it's like almost apex style gameplay which is some of my favorite first person gameplay uh and they're gonna continue that with this and that's also some of my favorite content ever was the tiny tina dlc for two so it's just combining my two favorite things uh so yeah i'm really hyped and we're gonna have fun day one on that the one one thing i'm really hyped for about this is and i don't know i haven't really looked a whole lot of research into it but you get to create your own own character yeah yeah uh and dude character customization for me is and borderlands does it well like when they have done it it, it, you feel it feels pretty significant especially uh, in three i love getting the different masks you can get them i mean they're all unique and uh, but like about that can you customize your own character down to the power-ups uh, yeah, well, what they're going to do instead of grenades, you're going to have spells. Uh, okay, okay. So uh, there'll be things like that. I think it's going to be more through the game rather than your uh, character yeah, yeah. sheet. You and know? there won't be like, um, okay, and okay, all right, yeah. no. I'm- I, when this comes around, this is something I want us to do more content on. Like, I feel like there's a lot we can talk about in preparation and make videos definitely, on. We definitely, yeah, we need uh, a hype uh, level. Yeah. about the DLC, I think. That'd be we a good one. beat that and talk about it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then hopefully do a, a let's play together. Yeah, that'd, that'd be, be another nice. really fun. Uh, but after that is Tunic. Cute little game. Cute, cute. cute so cute. Zelda-like. Uh, for me, that's an eight. I, I'm a, Next time y'all are going to go first. I feel like I'm talking first every time. Uh, but yeah, it's an eight. Uh, I have a little skepticism just because I'm... I mean, it reminds me of Death Door, which is positive. But Zelda games haven't been my cup of tea. And if it's really spun off of that you know i'll probably miss a lot of the charm that other people had growing up playing zelda uh but i I am very excited it's definitely a day one purchase uh and i don't think it'll be a super long game so i can get through it but i don't know if it's gonna stick with me at the end of the year we'll see yeah i'm right there with you on that i think i'm at an eight too i mean i mean i am excited for the death door you know the the at the the look of it i'm really excited about that 
and, and if it's more Zelda like, then I would like it better. Cause I do. I mean, I do yeah. enjoy the puzzles and stuff like that. I do but, think it could be a perfect spot for you, like because you love Death Door and uh you love the style of zelda and they're really merged together on this i mean i feel like the combat ain't going to be as kinetic you know in dark soulsy which uh is a comparison that's made a lot for death door uh but that could help it you know in more of the the zelda style what about you cole Where you at? i'm an eight too nice uh, i definitely want to buy and play this especially since i missed out on death door mm-hmm. um this yeah, this game is an eight for me. For Still sure. need to play Death Door though. I will. <laughs> I, I started it at Eric's. I just never, yeah. you know. Uh, I think this is more your speed though, because I know you get you don't like a game that is punishing as much uh, like Death Door. Uh, I think this one could be a little bit of both. There, like you have the option to do these dungeons that are tough, but I don't think it's going to punish you on the main line as much. In Death Door, um, what little I did play of it, it is punishing, but. It's not to the point where it's in like infuriating. Like, you're not losing a lot of progress. Yeah, like <sighs> I hope this is in that you know where you're gonna pop back in a relatively decent checkpoint. And also, it's just like if you die in Death Door, it's like, oh, just dive this way next time. Yeah. And, and like, if you die in death in like any of the other hard games that you play, it's like I didn't parry at the right time. I didn't counter at the right time. And, I'm, you know, reflexes. Yeah. Mm, slow. I don't like that. I'm fairly sure this is a single developer game. Uh, That's cool. Yeah, I mean, he may have worked with some people on stuff like music and stuff, but the, the core of the game, I'm almost certain, is just one man made it. And I always have a soft spot in my heart for that just because the dream of making you know, yeah. your own game. Yeah. So uh, that makes me more excited for it. Yeah. Uh, Next is uh, Final Fantasy Strain or Final Fantasy Origins. Is that what it is? Uh, oh, Stranger yeah. of Paradise. <laughs> That's a mouthful. Yeah. Where are you at on this, Eric? Uh, I did play the demo of this. <laughs> uh, I played it for about twenty to thirty minutes. And you're a big Final Fantasy. Fan. Yeah, I love Final Fantasy. I'm at a one, honestly. And this is like I hated it. I hated. Well, I'll go ahead and say I'm at a one too because it's like. You're actually a fan, and I'm gonna let you go. I don't even have to say anything if you're at a one. Yeah, I uh, the it just did not feel good. It didn't look good. Like it was dark gray. I, I didn't enjoy the world. I didn't enjoy the combat. It felt like they had one animation for the combat, and you was doing it over and over, and you were stomping and making. You know, it's just like yeah. it was not. Weren't fun. they trying to say this was their take on a Dark Souls game? Yeah, that was how it was pitched. It didn't look the, like. Uh, I mean, I didn't play the demo, but I've watched people. I mean, play I didn't play it. any bosses or anything, but like that little bit of combat i was like this is not fun to hit these buttons and play this game yeah i'm at a one for the the detracting away from final fantasy i feel like it's a negative toward final fantasy uh but i I couldn't care about it at all like that's one on our scale is uh we'd pretty much rather it not exist and i think it would probably be better (laughs) yeah no i'm right there with you guys it's a one for me uh like final fantasy 15 dope and all the remakes i mean i started late i remember my cousin having seven um and watching him play it on on i was like man what what is this and now i know what that final what final fantasy is and it's got such a a legacy you know and this just man it is not great <laughs> like watching someone play the demo i watched uh somebody stream it and i uh, man it was not good it oh, was yeah, the demo, it's it, ugly dude i the mean demo maybe lasted it, it probably installed longer than i played it yeah <laughs> yeah it's muddy i feel it's got to be for someone i don't know i mean i feel like most final fantasy fans like this isn't for them you know i, who, yeah. I don't know who it's for really i don't know i'm not i guess i'm not one to speak on that because i'm not I've never been a Final Fantasy fan personally, but I respect the property, and I, oh, yeah. and I you know, I keep up with it because I'm in this space. And it's Square, right? Yeah, it it, it is Square. Uh-huh. I don't know which studio though. It's obviously not the one doing the mainline game, so I don't know who they got to do it. I think it. I think they got a pretty high profile studio to do it, and I can't remember. I can't who think of who it is. I'm gonna I mean... have to look that up in a minute. Uh, I don't know if that's before or after Kirby, but that got a date since i made the list and so we got to speak about speak on that uh kirby and the forgotten land and uh let me find it here okay cole what's your take we'll go with you first on this one. Oh, with me yep all right as a guy who <clears throat> doesn't play any i have a switch but i don't play a lot of nintendo games 
I think I got Breath of the Wild, Odyssey, and Sword and Shield, and uh, Animal Kingdom Crossing. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I'm actually kind of pumped for this. It looks cute. Looks like something my mom could sit and watch me play, and it won't bother her that you know, like I won't be murdering people. And she gets bummed out when I'm playing like Siege or something. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's about uh, probably six for me. Probably six. Perfectly That's average great. hype. I'm. I'm. I just have to watch more on it. I mean, it looks yeah. cute, and you can fish in it, bro. So I'm all yeah. about it. I uh, I'll let you go last, Eric, because uh, I feel like you got the most to say about it. Uh, my favorite Nintendo game ever is Super Mario Odyssey, and this gives me vibes of that. But I don't, I can't expect it to reach that. So I'm sitting at a seven, like I'm going to play it and I'm excited, but I just don't know. Like, I don't know. It's the comparisons I'm drawing right now. Uh, also, the first time they showed it, it looked a little little empty. The, the latest trailer was a lot better. But, a lot uh, better. A lot, uh, the latest trailer was I'm sick. definitely going to buy this game. And I'm definitely going to play it. Uh, I just don't know that at the end of the year, it won't just be a seven to me. So that's where I'm sitting on it. Yeah, when they first showed I was. this is likely one of the biggest announcements from the last Direct they did because I wasn't expecting another Kirby game so soon after the last failure. I didn't like that one. <laughs> no, didn't care for it at all. Allies. The Star Allies. Yeah. So, I, you know, they showed this one. I was like, oh, this looks cool. It's kind of more open. And then, so I was sitting, you know, pretty hype about it. Knew I was going to get it. And then the latest trailer showing the hub, showing the different levels. I'm I'm at a nine. I'm pretty nice. I'm pretty hot for it. I'm oh, definitely nice. going to get it. Um, I was hoping to get a ten from you. Nah, it's 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 still Kirby. I, mean, <laughs> Kirby, I, I think that's at the end of the day what worries me. Like yeah. they, I mean, Nintendo doesn't treat Kirby as a big property. Yeah. yeah, I mean, this one looked like from the trailers, it looks like it could be finally stepping him up a level. But uh, I, I still just think until it's proven to me that it's just going to be one of their smaller properties. I, yeah. I don't know if they're putting as much into it. But uh, moving on to where are we? I got to go back up the list. Huh. Stalker 2. No, that got moved to. Yeah, that's moved way okay. on now. So we got to remember because I'm not going to go and edit it right now. Stalker 2. Well, we'll just go ahead and talk about it. Yeah. It's not coming out until December uh, now. But Stalker 2, I have it at a 9. Ooh, and uh, I know that sounds high, but it probably would have been lower until I heard it. it's just a completely single player focused game. And I, I'm a big fan of Metro, or Metro, Metro games, and this feels a lot like it, but more, uh, more Russian. Yeah, I don't know how it could feel more <laughs> Russian. Uh, I don't know. I don't know more why. It's very Metro, actually. It just feels like more Metro, yeah. but it, it's not. I know. I've heard so many good things about the first one, and it being PC exclusive. I guess you, I don't know, exclusive quotations, whatever. Uh, I didn't ever get to play it. Uh, now that it's a big Xbox property, I feel confident that they're going to make sure it, it, you know, is good. Uh, where are you at on it, Cole? Me, I'm at a, I'm at an eight. <clears throat> I would be a little bit higher, but I'm not uh, as invested into the story, so I don't know if I'll be lost. Um, like like you, I love the Metro games. Um, Russians are just dope as hell, and uh, I, I just like. The whole post-apocalyptic stuff. I mean, I'm a sucker for post-apocalyptic. So, this one looks more. Uh, I mean, Metro had horror elements to it, but this one looks like it's really yeah. gonna put you on edge. Uh, that one trailer where they're around the campfire, it, like it settled yeah. into you. <laughs> that is scary. What about you, Eric? Where are you uh, I don't say I'm at a seven, but I'm actually at an eight because it is Game Pass. So that automatically uh, is a day yeah. one purchase. One point boost uh, every time. <laughs> Love. Didn't really ever put much thought into it until this last time it was shown at E3, and that the camp, like you said, the campfire trailer, and it gave off that creepy vibe to it. Um, you know, I love a good story, and that's and I'm definitely going to jump into this one. I'm excited to play it. It looks clean. This is uh, one of the look, yeah, I greatest think it's really games. I mean, showcase. Like, yeah, yeah, it's really nice looking. Yeah. It's uh, it's surprising to me how many games are coming to Game Pass. I keep forgetting. I know it's nuts, but uh, not in the first quarter of the year. Not now that yeah. this got moved. Uh, yeah. Uh, but I had something I was going to say on, on Stalker and I can't remember train of thought just keeps moving to the next game, I guess. Uh, sons of the forest. Does this have a date? I put it here. I don't, I didn't put the date though. It does. It's May, it's May, May 20, okay. 21st, 22nd. It's around my birthday on that. All right. Uh, 
they went really quiet on this game for a while, uh, which made me worried. I, I, and we played the first one recently, and it is a really good game, and there's a lot of things about it. But playing it in present day, it feels janky. So I have hope that this one's going to get the money to, to clean up some of the gameplay issues I had with it. And I think it's more focused on uh, multiplayer stuff. Like, so that's going to be a little cleaner. Uh, I'm sitting at a nine on it. I, like, that's where I've been. I almost came down off of that because of the weight for information. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to stay there because I am a sucker for survival games. I love anything that makes me feel like I'm affecting the world and like the world's affecting me. Uh and plus, we can play it together. Like I, I feel like the good spooky survival thing, as long as it isn't overbearing, I don't want it to be too much, you know, hunger and thirst all the time. We can have a good time with that. Uh, what about you, Eric? Yeah, I'm right there with you. Uh, on a nine, uh, love the horror aesthetic of it. it looks like it, I mean, me and you jumped into the uh, first one, and that was really was a lot of fun. We didn't play much of it, but definitely them chasing you yeah. and stuff in the woods. So it's a good like it's a good good gameplay loop. Yeah, I guess. It's it's that surreal. Like the the fear actually makes you feel there. Like it, it's natural fear. <laughs> what I do like about this game, or the you know the first one, is that I feel like I'm actually the stuff I'm building matters more. Yeah. Like the houses and stuff, it actually is shelter and stuff. But yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about it. Yeah, I'm a, <clears throat> surprised you guys both have it at a nine. Uh, mine was actually pretty low. Um, I don't really care for survival games, but then I got to thinking. How many? How much fun we, me and you, have had on Grounded? How much fun we've had on Minecraft? Just and like, if I go, if I ever play Minecraft by myself, I go creative mode. Mm-hmm. I'm not. A, I don't want to do survival. I don't want to worry about the freaking ticking hearts or the food or whatever. Um, but when we play together, it's so fun. Like you can go out and do something, and I can do something else, and we can come back to the camp and have everything right. So. Uh, I'll say about seven now. I'm just looking forward to those moments where we're doing that split up. Uh, someone's off gathering something, and then you just hear in the distance, "Ah, they're after me!" They're after oh me. yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, like, I'll tell you it's what's going to be perfect for that. <laughs> what's my fun? My my funnest moments in games is like when we're playing a game and something scary happens. Like we play Dead by Daylight, and we're we didn't know who the monster was, and it turned out to be Michael Myers, and no. he shows up around the corner. <laughs> yeah. I remember screaming in my small apartment, and I know my neighbors heard me. I remember screaming. I was like, and then what What game did we play recently where I freaked out? I don't even know, but it was all three of us. We were playing it. Was it Back for Blood? Uh, no. Uh, Shoot. What did we play the other day? Oh, uh, the the Borderlands 2 DLC, I guess. Wouldn't it be? Borderlands? What? Was Borderlands? That, yeah. Or was it Battlefront? It was Battlefront, yes. Yeah. And then Dar- Darth and, Maul was coming yeah, out. Yeah, <laughs> Darth Maul was, was sliding down the yeah. corridor. And just, man, it, little creepy things like that. And then when you're with friends, it makes it yeah. so much better. So, yeah, I'm, uh, my hype level is getting higher as we talk about it. Uh, I'm still ready to see more on it. Just like a, a clean last trailer will do it so much good. And I'll be, I mean, I'm pretty much completely sold as it is. But uh, looking forward to that. Next is Forspoken. Oh, yes. <laughs> Y'all take it away. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm uh, definitely. At eight, I'm really excited. Love to get love how it looks. A little worried about the story, not clicking. You know, definitely gonna buy it day one. I mean, I just love how parkour. You like to jump in in the spells, and it looks like it'd be a fun time as long as it sticks to landing. That's what I'm. You know, yeah. I hope it doesn't have a lot of frame rate errors or anything like that because it is moving very fast. But I'm excited to see a, a new PlayStation exclusive without it being a sequel because that's a, you know we're getting a lot of sequels. We're in a we're in a sequel area right now. Of. Yeah, it's something fresh. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I want to hear Cole's, and then I'll, I'll give my spiel on it. My hype level is five. Okay. Uh, Eric showed me, and I was like, "Man, this is really dope." And then I watched the trailer again, and it looks, besides the parkour and the magic of the main character, it looks empty. Yeah, that, it looks real empty. I'll just roll right off of that. That's what I felt the entire time. I feel like they showed it too early. Uh, and it was just a, you know, like startup Unreal Engine and have, you know, like just procedurally generated areas that, I mean, they're showing off the speed of it and everything. It'll all come down to how that feels, how f- running fast feels, because it could feel like Saints Row 4, where it's not good at all. Like you're just running fast and your character, yeah. but you don't really feel the inertia of it. Yeah. Uh, 
I mean, it could turn out great, though. I doubted Returnal, and it came out and was a banger for a lot of people. Uh, so it could end up being that, or I could be right about it. I don't know. Yeah. I also think the what they've shown of the story looks really generic and forced and – I don't know. It, I don't even know what the story is about. Oh yeah, that's that's my that's my big thing. Is it does look like it's kind of I don't know. It's not really nothing that draw me. And besides, right. it the looks gameplay. it looks like they're banking on their cast. Yeah, like like they've got lot. they've got legit actors. And when games do that, doesn't necessarily mean the story is deep. Like look at Far Cry Six. Yeah. They're banked on their big villain being Giancarlo Esposito. Yeah. I really wasn't impressed. Um, that one game. Kevin Spacey and all like in oh, yeah. ga- uh, Call of Duty, yeah. uh, bad. What about that one game with the the dude that played Iceman? Uh, it was from Remedy, oh, Quantum yeah. something. Oh was, yeah, 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 Quantum. Uh, see, we can't even think break. of the name of it. Quantum Break. Quantum Break. He was also the one that was in uh, Man of Medan, right? Yeah, oh, guess yeah. who else was in that? Who was the villain in that Quantum Break? Uh, Littlefinger. Ah. <laughs> yeah. See, I, but I didn't hear anything about it, and like. I think they really banked on that sell in the yeah. game. Of course, there's a certain type of game, you know, for certain yeah. type of people. Like we like the, like you said, Man of Madon type games, and I think that does benefit it when yeah. it's oh, going to yeah. be when, when it's, you're playing it like on, a movie, yeah. right? It's going to be focused on that, like a movie. When you're making a movie, you, know, and you use actors. You know? But ultimately, I hope I'm dead wrong. Oh yeah, I hope it's a great game. You know, I was just thinking about this about the actors. Like when you bring in big actors for a game. It's best that you don't like over talk about it. <laughs> well, it's just like Jack Black in Psychonauts too. His character was dope. Oh yeah. And then yeah. like John Carlos Esposito. <laughs> yeah, well they didn't draw attention to Jack Black. He just did a great job. Yeah. And they didn't have to go, yes. Oh, Jack Black, Jack, you know, just keep slapping yeah. it in your face. Well, I wonder if using their likeness is just like a I think big, big, big production companies are like, if we use their likeness, casual gamers will recognize them from something and cl- and buy it. I think that's maybe like a focus group or some BS that they're. That's why they use their likeness. Yeah, unless uh, I don't you're know. Uh, Death Stranding, and then uh, can't think of his name. Uh, yeah, Norman, Norman Reedus. Reedus. Yeah, uh, that's used well, I think. Yeah, it, I think that's one situation where it wasn't just to grab people's attention. Yeah. It was uh, it's because Kojima is Kojima, a fan yeah. of that guy. Exactly, Kojima loved him, and I think that shows in the way he made his character. You know, like one of the best performances of any actor in a mo- in a game is the Last of Us games. Whether you know oh, you yeah. like the characters or not, yeah. their characters don't look like each right, other. Those models are Tor Baker does yeah. not look like Joel. Exactly, yeah. but. He kills it, dude. Yeah. I, I mean, think I have a problem with bringing in actor actors, you know, like people yeah. there. And, and because I feel a little people selfish. People like Joel have earned the right yes. to, to do, you know, like, and I want to keep discovering new ones that are just great video game voice actors. I like it being I want, separate there, you know? like I want people to do it because they have passion for it, not because they need a, a project between movies or shows. Right. And that also may be me just being selfish. Okay. Games are getting bigger, so I should probably... Did I ever give my... I didn't even get my hype scale no, level for so. uh, for Forspoken. It, no. It's a four. Like I could be convinced to play it, but I like I said, I've, I've from the start kind of feel. I don't, I don't want to get jaded on it and feel like I have to fight for that. That's why it's at a four. Like I'm leaving myself open to enjoying um, it because I may end up loving it. I, plenty of times I've been like, oh, this looks gross, and then I love the game. My biggest hope for it is that it's solid enough that people would want a sequel. And yeah. then it's, you know, it, it, it becomes a new franchise because that's what I mean. Yeah. We need more of those. We need more. St- like I hope this is, has Who's a horizon. making this, though? I know it's a Sony uh, exclusive, but I don't know what studio it is. And it's got to be someone big. Like, it's a big... I want to say it's Square. Maybe. Yeah, it's... I don't know which Square studio it is, but... Uh, I hope it's a Horizon one. situation where it's kind of a... Yeah, you know it's well received, right? It could be. I I think that's another reason I was skeptical is Square. Square yeah, lately yeah. has made me skeptical about most. Yes, it's, yes. Yeah. But uh, moving on to uh, this is the only thing I included that wasn't a, like a feature length game. It's a DLC, but it's a really big DLC for for me and I think for Eric. Uh, the Delicious Last Course Cuphead DLC. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and say I'm at a ten for this. Like. Cuphead's one of my all-time favorite games, and I've been waiting for this. I, I wish they would have turned it into a full-blown sequel at this point because it's been so long, uh, but I'll take anything I can get. What about you, Eric? Yeah, I'm also at 10. Uh, I've been, we've been looking forward to this for a long time, even you know, since they announced it. 
I've been excited to play this. I'm, I can't wait to jump in. I'd hope it did. I hope it's st- you know. Hope it is long enough where I don't feel burned by it. Right. Yeah. But yeah if it's I just mean, like four bosses. I might be. Yeah. Mad that. It needs but to I mean, I'm very excited for it. Yeah. Uh, we played through the first one together yeah. over the course of a couple of years because yeah. it kept getting us, you know, beating our ass, and, <laughs> and uh, we would get off and get back on. But uh, so glad that we completed it. Uh, a lot that times. would be a good one for us to uh, to do a video on uh, yeah. a let's play together play through the whole DLC yeah what about you no. Cole uh, me uh, <laughs> I'm at a three I would never play it but I can see why someone would yeah. I mean it's like a common theme in these podcasts hard game I'm not gonna play it uh, you don't like to get punished no definitely don't I uh, you don't like dying a thousand and however many times I've seen y'all play the boss battles and I'm like there's so much <laughs> flying on the screen but like, it's a different you- it's a different feeling when you're playing it like it looks like that yeah like how in the heck but then when you're you're in the zone like you don't even look at anything on screen you're just kind of doing it you know like that's what feels so good to like you get in this flow state I think it's the perfect game of just one more time. Just, yeah. Let's just try this one oh, more time. Oh, we can do this so one more time. Yeah. Yeah. That it's makes sense. Time. I would love to do a Let's Play with you guys and watch you play yeah, and get I'll, drunk. we got to have you there for that. Yeah, I'll hey, get drunk and funny. watch you guys play it. Every time you die, I'll take a shot. <laughs> well, you will die. <laughs> <laughs> Alcohol poisoning very fast. Uh, but next, we got Saints Row. It got moved back to when, August. It's August. Yeah, it's August now. Okay, we're in August. Do we kick this one off? Yeah, yeah, you go for it. Uh, definitely an eight. Uh, I'm gonna buy it day one. I'm excited. I love the Saints Row franchise. A little skeptical about where they're taking it. You know, it being a whole new cast. You know, but you know, it could be a good thing for it because once you did what you did in four, it's hard to yeah go back to the streets. So I'm glad they're going back to the streets. Looks clean. Looks good. I think it'd be a good time. I don't think you know. I don't. I don't think it ever go down as a ten out of ten masterpiece. But I don't think they're shooting to make yeah. a ten. I think it's just a good time. So this is my my thing. I am at an eight too. Um, I love the Santro games. Like, dude, San, talking about Santro two is probably some of the most hours I've spent on a game. Um, like just doing the stupid stuff that we did, and then like creating a character, and then making a car for each character. Uh, but I was I I watched the trailer when they announced it, and I was hype. I was like, all new guys, whole new gang. It'll be different. And then I scrolled through the comments and people were lighting it on fire. And then I saw the developers say, we're going to keep doing what we're going to do. We're not going to change direction. And that right there is really cool. I think that's dope as hell. That means they're just sticking to their creative guns. Like, don't get me wrong. I As soon as I started reading the comments, I was like, yeah, you're right. I, you know, there are some things that uh, that are problematic with it. Problematic looking. But then I watched the gameplay. I'm like, this is just going to be fun Saints Row gameplay. As long as I can create a character like I could in the other ones, I'm going to be happy. That's, uh, yeah, I agree. I respect it to some degree. But uh, look at Sonic, the movie, and how much it benefited oh, yeah. to listen to the fans. And I feel like the people that made the Saints Rows we love are not there anymore. Like, this isn't even yeah. volition anymore. I yeah, I don't know. That's why I'm who's sitting left at, who's at not, a six. Yeah. It, I'm only sitting at a six because I love the the mechanics of Saints Row and how easy it is to just hop in and have some fun for a while. But I can't be any higher than a six because I don't like the aesthetic of it is well, I wouldn't even say like I like the art style. It's fine. But they're changing what a Saints Row game is in the sense of you're not really a gang. You're just a group of hipsters. You know, like trying to play spy out there, trying to, you know, I, I, I'm not happy. With, all the comments were basically my thoughts. It probably was me just sitting there critiquing. You, it. you were a hundred thousand comments. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, I'm going to play it. I'm going to get it. And, and I'm sure I'll like it to some degree. I just don't, I don't know. I can't be too hyped for it. So have, perfectly average. Yeah. yeah. Have me and Eric had a 10 yet? No, no 10s. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Where's yeah, your 10? Yeah. Well, yeah. Right, Cuphead yeah. and, uh, I had one more, I thought. Let me look Maybe back. not. Maybe Cuphead was my first 10. Yeah, it was. No, you had Elden Ring at 10. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, d- 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 Cole, you haven't had 10, though. I haven't. Okay, so Elden the Ring last game that has a date this year. Okay, no, not the last game, because the one that got moved, Dying Light 2, will be and, after uh, the last game. Uh, Midnight Suns is on there somewhere. Yeah. Okay, so Dying Light 2 is next. Midnight Suns doesn't have a date. I thought it was late fall. 
Yeah, but they're not dead. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, Dying Light 2. Uh, I'm ready to hear y'all's thoughts on this. Especially now that it's been moved from next month to December. Yeah. Is it on Game Pass? No. <laughs> not on Game Pass. Yeah. It may be on Game Pass in a year. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Uh, I'm at a two. I, two or three. I'm not going to play it. I mean, I played the first one. I got burned out pretty fast. I'm over the zombie stuff in games right now, unless it's Last of Us. Like, they do it in a way that I don't think about it being zombies. But I, that was a big problem with Back for Blood, too. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, it's a perfectly good game, but I'm just so Seen over. Seen too much. I'm just over zombies yeah. at this point. I'm at a four. Uh, like, if it comes out and it's reviewed well, and like I'll probably check in on it. Or maybe, like, a, a sale on it. You know, like, if I got it cheap. There's enough time that could be put into it. But that's also kind of a negative, because the report of 500 hours to complete the game. They did clarify on that. It's not actually 500 hours. They said you could beat it in like 30. Uh, and if you side. So 30 hours. That's basically. Yeah. Said. So I, they were just, you know, pumping themselves up with that. Yeah. But there's 500 hours to do everything in the game or whatever. Oh, jeez. Uh, you could say that about a lot of things. I've put thousands of hours into right. the Borderlands game. Well, you could but... take a five hour game and put 500 hours. Right. Into like it. I mean, that that's bloat. Just, yeah. I don't want bloat. Uh, but yeah, four for sure, because I think there's enough interesting gameplay that maybe I could be pulled in, but I don't plan on playing it. No. For this, for me, is a five. Um, I will say this game will probably be a game that I pick up during a drought. Um, I picked up uh, Days Gone during a drought. <sighs> Dude, that game was awesome. It was like two or three years after it came out. Man, I mean, they did all the tweaking and everything else. So I'm sure Dying Light 2 will be a drought game that I play, and I'll like it. But until then, it's four or five. That comparison's pretty good. I mean, obviously, first person, third person, big difference there. But like, I feel like the uh, overall like what you're doing in the game could be similar. See, I try to get in when I got to PS5. I downloaded Days Gone and. Yeah, I started it, but I had to hit the same wall of I'm tired of these yeah. this type of enemies. Oh yeah, that, that's kind of led even more into what you're saying about yeah. zombies being played out for me too. Like that yeah. was the game where I really knew it. Uh, and just for uh, uh, context, Eric's favorite show is Walking Dead. <laughs> Eric's one time he's got all the signatures from like half the cast. That could be lot to do with why he's burnt out yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but next we have starfield uh the last game with a release date that i know of at least and probably the biggest game one of the biggest games with a release over date. 500 hours i think oh did we <laughs> no i'm just, I just I'm <laughs> sure. oh well that's fair it probably almost guaranteed we'll have over 500 hours uh where are you at on it call me yeah. um nine I'm almost at a 10. The only thing that keeps me from 10 is the space is not like fantastical space. It's like a realist, excuse me, a realistic type space. And uh, it's Bethesda. And they're, I mean, Bethesda games are my game. Like Fallout, uh, you know, even 76. Liked Fallout 76. I could definitely see why people hate it. Um, And it is just a cash grab. But, I mean, I still go back to Skyrim. And it's just like if they do Starfield three fourths as good as those games, then I'm sold. I mean, it's a nine for me for sure. I want to hear you, Eric. Uh, yeah, I'm at an eight. Uh, definitely excited. Less, you know, more excited I was, you know, now that we got an actual release date and stuff. Mm-hmm. But I'm still skeptical on the realism. Mm-hmm. I hope it's just not too. Yeah. Like, I hope it's I hope it's fun to play. That you know, I hope that's the thing. Like I hope it's. Enough different elements. Of, I'm just don't want to kill humans. This whole time. Yeah, my thing is, if I wanted to play a simulator, I play Microsoft or whatever the heck it is. Flight simulator. Flight simulator. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, I don't think. I don't want to click a bunch of buttons. I just right. remember watching the trailer and seeing a bunch of buttons in the cockpit and thinking, if they make me click a bunch of buttons, I'm. Gonna I don't be think you're even gonna fly the the, the spaceships. I I think that's gonna be your you know fast travel and Uh, and everything like that. I think at its core, this is going to be fallout in space, whether they give it the, the comedy and the charm of fallout is, you know, of question. I trust that they will. And people uh, rightly rag on 76, but it does have charming things that you're discovering in that world. Mm -hmm. Uh, It's definitely a departure and I don't want them to ever do that 
type of game again because they're so good at what they were doing. I agree with you uh, on that one, actually. Yeah, but that's why I'm at a 10 because I think this is them. They're going to rectify their mistake of doing a live service game, and this is the first new Bethesda property since, uh, well, since Elder Scrolls. Well, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. In, what, t- 25 years, 20 years so? Yeah, so do you know they're going to put the time in to make sure this succeeds. Uh, I wasn't at a 10 but like you said before the date and everything it just it was too ambiguous to me and i do agree that it could be a little too realistic and more star trek less star wars but you know they're going to put they're going to have weird stuff in there it's creators of fallout and elder scrolls is going to yeah. be that weird quirky stuff that you get into i hope it like it doesn't need to be outer worlds like that's you know the other end of it too quirky but it needs to be some of that i want it to have weird aliens and stuff you know uh, the crazy thing about bethesda is they can do an E3 and now it's Fallout 4 and it come out in the same year. But I feel like I've known about Starfield and heard about Starfield for oh, years now. And that's, the, that's yeah. the negative, I think. It's like you have yeah. all the hype in that year you hear about it and then it well, goes by. To be fair, in this age, this era of gaming, leaks ruin all of that. Oh, yeah. So it, it was leaked way before they said anything actually about it and then they released the little picture the little graphic which i don't like when they do that like they did for elder scrolls 6 but then they got the if we would have just got the trailer a year ahead waiting a year would have been fine you know like i would have been okay with that uh but i agree don't show it too soon but they did call their shot and that gives me more confidence uh but moving on to now we're on the list of games without a date that i know of i don't think they've gotten a date yet and uh the first one we're going to go in alphabetical order advanced wars the it's got, One and two. It's got a date. It's oh, did they give it a date? It's April. April. Okay. It was December of 2021, but now well, blame Gamespot because they used their list for reference. Oh no, that's, yeah. I think it's very <laughs> recent. They got a uh, uh, date. Yeah, uh, I'm at a five on this. Uh, I I think it could be something I get into. Uh, it's cutesy and everything, and I like a good pick up and play Switch game. That I mean, I don't think it's gonna. I don't know it well enough to be any more than a five, but I, it has a pedigree. That I think I, you know, I, I'll probably play it, check it out. Yeah, I'm pretty similar. I'm at a six. Uh, I think it's just by I hear a lot of it by word of mouth yeah. of hearing how good this series is, so I do want to try it. But I don't have any history with it or anything, and it looks like it looks decent. Yeah. You know, the trailer looks decent. Uh, mine is a two. <laughs> I have no real interest in it, one way or the other. Did you draft this on your fantasy? Yeah, I did draft it on oh, my fantasy. Well, that's a, that's a good pick, though. Because I, yeah. I, I heard somebody say that, like, the old games were dope, and pe- there's, like, a niche market that people like oh, yeah. it, and this yeah. is, like, a re- remake. So There's I, a surprising amount of hype behind it for yeah, it yeah. being just a remaster. Or not remaster. It's, it's, I know when that uh, direct happened, it was one of the, like, people put it as one of the bigger yeah, ones. So I was like, I just thought yeah. that was an ad. I didn't, you know, I didn't really. Yeah. But, uh, moving on to Bayonetta 3. <laughs> Does it have a date now? Uh, it, I don't know. I think it's just this year. Yeah. I don't think it has a. I'm How not does sure. it not have a date? Good grief! This that game. was at the uh, I think the first one of the first directs for the Switch. It was announced. It was announced. It was the same one as Metroid Prime Four. I think, if I'm not wrong. Well, I'm at a three. Uh, I, I understand it's a property people care about. Uh, I don't. I hate hack and slash. I can't. I just I get so bored so fast, and I also don't like the way it looks. Like I think it just it's kind of ugly. And for a game that has been in development this long, you'd think, especially like I don't know, you'd just think it be, it'd be better at this point. Uh, where are you at on it, Cole? Uh, same, same exact. Yeah, three. Mid three. Um, yeah, Bayonetta looks sexy, but <laughs> I mean, if I want to look up that, I'll watch right. a totally <laughs> different website. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I'm... Uh, yeah, I'm at the same place. I'm at a three. Uh, I do like the hack slash genre. I, this had never been a game I've wanted to play though, and I don't. I don't think it being on Switch helps it any okay. for that regard. Well, right, it's not going to have that high end performance, which I think a game like that needs. needs. Yeah. I, I, I'm not. I mean, I see the, the. It's for the people that are into it. I'm just not yeah. into it. I just don't see it coming out and being this banger. Like Metroid Dread, people waited for for so long, and it came out and it was pretty I wonder if anybody's like, hey, it's the chick from uh, Smash Bros. Yeah, well, <laughs> I, I was going to say that's my biggest experience with her is in yeah. Smash because I didn't play the other ones. They just never appealed to me. I've got it for Fortnite. Yeah. <laughs> uh, next, we have Cult of the Lamb, which I don't think's gotten a date yet either. Uh where do you add on it? We, we watched a trailer on it. Uh, I am at a seven. I'm excited to play it. 
Uh, I definitely want to play it. It looks really cool. Yeah. I like the little uh, town building elements. And, yeah. You know, it gives me something to strive and keep keep playing it. And that's you know, that's a big bonus. Yeah. I think it looks good. I like the art style. I, I'm at a seven, and I like so much about it, but the uh, the Satanism's a little strong for me. Like, it, I just know it's gonna make me kind of, I don't know, uh, cringe a little bit at times. But uh, the gameplay looks exactly up my alley. I love isometric. I like, like you said, the the base building type stuff. And it does have a lot of personality. It's going to be weird. It's going to be like uh, Adult Swim, you know. After you know the the stuff that comes on at three, not not yeah. American Dad, you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so it's going to have that quirky, the dark weird, stuff. edgy stuff, you know. I think it's going to be dark, but I think it definitely have that humor in it that keeps it from. Yeah, being as too long bad. as it plays on that, it has levity about it instead of just satanism all yeah. the way through it, then you know I'm, um, with it. I'm about a seven i was gonna be like six perfectly average but i think if you guys are gonna get it and there's multiplayer aspect i'll definitely get it yeah i don't know if there is I feel even like if there's not we can still play it side by side yeah i mean i'll watch it'll be you. fun for all three of us to be playing it and then talking about what we've experienced in it yeah uh but moving on to evil west we probably should have re-upped yeah, I, re-watch that. I remember what it's I mean, oh I was, evil west is the uh the dope yeah, one the third person, uh, yeah it's got a lot going is this on. an xbox exclusive <laughs> no okay uh, was it i thought i saw it in an xbox is that weird west Weird West is. That's I don't think it's okay. Okay. I think it's going to be like Death Door, where it comes out on Xbox first, yeah, and then yeah. it comes out later. Other I get those two. Yeah. Weird West is going to be on Game Pass. I didn't put that in here. It's not. It didn't really feel like a big enough. Yeah, game. yeah I mean, yeah. come on. But That's I do mix those two up. Yeah. <laughs> but Evil West looks far more legit. To Ooh, me. it looks it's like a, Yeah, it does. It's the Outer Worlds, Outer Wilds year again yeah. with the West. It almost with the <laughs> low hype level that it's came with feels. Like, it's not going to be what's been shown. I, I get that way. Like, I question things whenever they look too good to be true and they don't have the backing of, you know, people talking about them. But we'll see. Where are you at, Call? I know you were really excited when we watched that trailer. Um, Let's see. I'm probably at a between a 7 and an 8. I'm not going to I'm not gonna say it's a day one purchase because I just got to know when it comes out, what's around it, stuff like that. But it's pretty close to a one-day purchase. It looks so sick. That's pretty much where I am. It's about a seven. Uh, I'm at a six. Uh, I'm just going to wait and see how it goes. You know, if y'all are really into it, then I'll jump into it. But it's not really on my radar. I can't remember. Does it have – I feel like it was co-op because I feel like we were like, oh, we're going to have to play this together. I don't know. Uh, we'll have to look into that more. But moving on, and here's a big one, God of War Ragnarok. Ooh. Oh, is that the – yeah, I've heard of that. No, it doesn't no, – that's that little game from yeah. that one studio in California. <laughs> uh this- yeah, go ahead, go. I'm gonna go ahead and start because I don't have the history with you guys. Uh, I, you know, history of it with you guys. But uh, this is a ten for me. This is my first ten. I mean, this ten. Uh, I mean, this game, not ten. <laughs> this game is. I mean, I'm pumped for it. The only knock that I have is that it looks like, which isn't a bad thing. Just looks like God of War, like the you know the re- the newest one. Uh, I don't see a whole lot different with it. Um, so like if you're expecting a big change, that's already come. I mean, it looks so dope and I'm just ready for it. It's a 10. Yeah, that sure. seems to be the general consensus from everyone I've listened to on it is that that's the only thing they can say is like, it, you know, it looks like more God of War, but God of War that's is what a I think masterpiece. everybody would want. At yeah. This point, so yeah. like it's a 10 for me because God of War's uh, top three all time game for me. I fantastic all the way through. If they, just don't go any lower than that one. I'm happy, you know. Like, like and, as long as it's as good as the first one or even near it, I'm happy. <laughs> I think, uh, yeah, uh, I'm right there with y'all. I'm at a ten. Really excited, and it, they've said that this wraps up the Norse yeah. mythology story. Yeah. So I think they got me more excited to play it because I know that this isn't gonna be a chapter that ends with a big cliffhanger for this. Right. I'm like, well, I have to wait four more years before I find out. You know, yeah. the wrapping it up in this one, I think it's gonna be a really I think it's gonna be start to finish, great story, hopefully. Yeah. So yeah, I'm right there. It's ten. I'm I'm not I don't have a problem with it looking the same. Yeah. I think it you know There's so much to be said on this and of course whenever we get a date we'll start planning content. This is something I wanna have a lot of content for. Uh but you, like, you want to do like a countdown, like the first, like the week to it. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'd love to do videos of us playing through yeah. the first one and, and breakdowns and, and got, what we and, think, the speculation. Yeah. And then me doing all the first three, playing all the first three, but only the sex scenes. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> Just a super cut. <laughs> Eric thought I was serious for a split second. Super cut montage of tapping X to <laughs> the one on PSP. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that that's a big one. That's our first triple ten there. All yeah, three of us triple ten are there. Uh, just a game even more highly touted follows this one, and that's Goodbye Volcano High. Ooh. Oh, speaking might of, be two in a row tens. Speaking of tens, we're at vol- Goodbye Volcano High. <laughs> I'm gonna get mine out of the way. I'm at a four. Uh, I could be convinced. I like. I don't really know what this game is. I don't even know what it is it's at all. Choice space, right? I guess I'm assuming it's gonna be. It's life is strange with dinosaurs. Is it they didn't Mindy? say that though. I don't know. <laughs> they just showed this little manga. You didn't like that cartoon. Trailer? I didn't. I didn't watch the trailer. I I'm as I'm so lost that you guys they, are talking about. They put that trailer out with oh, the collector's like edition. They, they, I, I can't was, explain that in in uh, our podcast. <laughs> I would, if they would have put collector edition click link on the trailer, I was gonna click it, dude. I'm so excited for this. Are game. you actually? I, I really like am being excited facetious. for this game just because I know it. No, I'm really excited because this. Oh well. I'm making the choices for this these dinosaurs. <laughs> okay, now I'm in, dude. Yeah. I'm in. I'm uh I'm at a five now. It looks like a. Graphic novel from what they've shown, but I don't think so. Like a graph, uh, visual novel. Uh, Is that coming out this year? Yeah, well, it's, it's got uh, to, you know. It was at the uh, PS5 uh, announcement, E3. right? E3. Well, no, they, it was uh, before E3. Yeah, the announcement. the announcement. Yeah, you're right. Also, the to interject, the company that's making... Forspoken is Square. Oh, it, Square's it, producing it, and Luminous is doing it. Luminous. Uh, but I am at an eight. I'd say uh, for real. I, well, if you really like it, like you're the one that put me on Life is Strange. If you really like it, then I'll try it. You know, because I love Life is Strange. If it, uh, a trailer could come out and move me up from a four to you know definitely playing it. That first one didn't do it for you. It was just some weird little <laughs> cartoon trailer that didn't even show me what I was going to be doing. I'm looking at images here, and I am <laughs> back. I am back down to it too. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I want to know more about it. I'll you don't like these dinosaurs dressed up like high schoolers? Dude, this one, this purple one looks like a show. I just want it to be Doki Doki, and I don't know if that's what that is. Dude, I'm Okie Doki with it being Doki Doki. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, moving on to Gotham Knights. Doesn't have a date yet. I don't know that it's going to hit this year, but we'll see. Uh, I'm at a seven. Like I know I'm going to play this game, but I definitely wouldn't say I'm like, it's not that anticipated for me. Oh, Gotham Knights? Yeah. This is a game that I love the property, love Arkham, I uh, love everything about it. Um, even the Origins one that people... That's the one, they made this. That's what yeah, I'm saying, they they made this, WB, yeah. right? Uh, I'm super hyped for this game, but there is something nagging at me that it could not be good. <laughs> uh, I don't know what it is. Um, I'm hoping... They saw Marvel Avengers crash and burn, and they decided say, not to do that. I think that was the nagging thing, yes. and that is part of the nagging thing for me. But I think they're going to do it better. I, yeah, I, I trust them a little more. Well, I just don't want them to. I don't want them to do like any of that microtransaction yeah. stuff. Just I don't like, want the missions to be just this. You go yes. and do it repetitively. You know, like if, I mean, as I long th- as it has a linear story in an open world, but where I th- you can do it co-op. It'll be good. But I still. Yes. I'm comparing it to we're going to move Suicide Squad up instead of going in alphabetical order. This is I what, feel like it's fair to do those back to back. This game right here is going to already be better than Marvel Avengers because it's I think it's isn't it one huge open world and Marvel Avengers is areas that yeah, are bland as hell and don't feel and you have connected. to replay those areas over and over again and it's just like what the fuck am I doing? So I'm about. Seven or eight. Eight, eight probably. Right, I'll get it. I am eight. sitting at a nine. I am stoked for this game. I'm, I've been excited since I've shown it. Choosing your car- choosing out of the four. Dude, I love that everyone's going to well, play different. I think, and this is, you can go back and we'll call it out later. I think this will be better. I think I will like this better than Suicide Squad. I think it's going to be better. I think going after these villains is going to be awesome. Just traversal is going to be fun. Riding the bat little bat cycle. I, I'm really pumped for this game. Let's be, let's just. Be real. Who are you gonna play as? Oh, Batgirl. 100%. Okay, good. Cause I'm Jason Todd. 
See, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm not hyped for this game. I don't care. Because we characters. took your character, Nightwing. No, I mean I like Red Hood fine, and Nightwing's fine. I, I don't know. I, I'll be when dick. it comes to Batman. I like Batman. I want to be Batman. Yeah. Like otherwise, I, like I want to be some other DC character. I think that's like, why I don't I, want to just be his family. I'm a little no. lower just because it's weird for them to get away from Arkham, yeah. but then not make a Batman game. Yeah. Like I don't know, I mean, but I mean the Court of Owls storyline is great. Like I'm really excited. I think this could be really great. That, that's the best thing about yeah. it to me is the Court of Owls. Yeah. But the thing they decided to show at their first gameplay. Was the fight Mr. Freeze. Mr. Freeze. <laughs> and I didn't like that a bit. It looked, it did not look fun to me. I, I, maybe it'll improve. If it feels like more Arkham and with a cool co-op twist, then I'm in. But they got to sell me a little more on the the way you're doing things, especially with it being ambiguous with uh, the co-op. I don't know how everything's going to work with that. But uh, we might as well go ahead and talk about Suicide Squad because those kind of go hand in hand. And I don't think both of them will come out this year. I just That would be weird and kind of shooting themselves in the foot. Unless one of them would come out very soon. Yeah. Which then... one do you think will come out? Suicide Squad. I think since they gave that date you know, not long ago, a couple months ago, I feel more confident about Suicide Squad. Even I... though it, it, like at first it was the opposite. It definitely felt like Gotham Knights was close to coming out. Yes, but I think what... I think it would hurt Gotham Knights if they pushed it back more than it would hurt Suicide Squad. Does that make sense? Unless they're restructuring it, like you were saying, with the the Avengers debacle, maybe that's what they've been putting. I don't a lot think of time the Gotham into. Knights was on that same path, though. I don't think it was. Uh, maybe I don't think they were going for a. They're going to keep adding stuff to it. I Games think it as was, a I service. Think it was a, I think it was a completed game. I think it was just co-op was the new feature. Yeah. Of so for Suicide Squad, I'm at a ten. I'm very close to it. I'm at an eight. I'm going to say I'm at eight. Oh, that hurts me. You're lower on Suicide Squad than yeah, you are Gotham Knights? I'm more excited for, for Gotham Knights. Yeah. The last trailer for Suicide Squad, I'll go ahead and get mine out of the way. I'm at an eight. Yeah, let's do it. The last trailer for Suicide Squad took me down a little bit just because I'm worried that I'm going to get bored of doing the same things in this game. I think the enemy types are not looking. I think it's going to be hoardy and it's going to be. It's Rockstick. It is, but I mean. I feel like I'm so. Much Did you ever more... get tired of busting bad guys' heads as Batman? No, in but I but I was always doing the next thing in the story. I don't know. I'm, I'm just not. I get there's a little bit of a kink in it with it being co-op. You know, focused like definitely focused even more than I think even more than Gotham Knights is. Uh, but it's rock steady. I'm, I just trust them more than any studio to make a solid <laughs> really? game. Really, really. Uh, and the the story's gonna hit. Because they haven't missed, in my opinion. Uh, and I also am, I don't want to be in nighttime all the time. That's another problem. I think oh, about the yeah. two, it's like, oh, this is so pretty and everything's, you know, getting to see Rocksteady doing it with, uh, you know, in the daytime like that is going to be awesome. Oh, Having yeah. a cycle, actually. Whereas Gotham Knights, I don't think it's ever going to be daytime, which I mean, I get it's the Batman thing. But uh, I've had enough. If I want to do that, I'll do Arkham games. You know, like, uh, there's still more I can do in there. <laughs> But yeah, I'm at really close to a 10. The only thing that brings it down is questioning. Like, it's a new thing for Rocksteady with co-op. Like, they've never done that. Uh, and Cole, you said you're at a 10. Yeah. All right. Uh, next is Hello shown. Neighbor 2. Uh, oh. Where are y'all on that? We probably should have re-upped on that. I'll go ahead and tell you I'm at a 2. <laughs> at a 2. Uh, I mean, if, if it's a game and it comes to Game Pass... I'll definitely play it with you guys, but I mean, if we're going to play an asymmetric or what is it called? Asymmetric multiplayer game. I think I just would rather play dead by daylight. Well, it gets confusing because hello neighbor did so many different little iterations. I think this one's just a single player, right? Uh, it may have, no, it has co-op, but it isn't. You're facing AI and this AI Uh, is really cool from everything I've seen. Yeah. I like the trailer. Yeah. And that's why I'm at a six on it. I I would be lowered because I didn't love the first one. Like it, it was a little frustrating. I think this one got, because a lot of people did love it, this one got the money to finally fix the things that were frustrating about it. And if it does have co-op, that would be fun trying to, you know, evade. This This character's different. It ain't the same guy. It ain't, ain't yeah. the neighbor. It, also it looks, looks like more of a horror game. It looks like than. a fun game to watch a streamer play. Yeah, or you can watch us play. Uh, I'm true. right there behind you, Marley. I'm right there at a five. Uh, I am going to check it, you know, check it out, see what yeah. they see what they're saying about it. If it's really positive, then I wouldn't mind jumping into it because I like the style. You know, yeah. I like the idea of the first one a lot. I just wasn't good at it. Yeah, and this is a Game Pass game, so that oh, that helps. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It helps a lot. Uh, 
Anyway, moving on to, oh, a big one, Hogwarts Legacy. Woo! <laughs> Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go on that one. I'm at an eight. Uh, I, the skepticism in this one comes from I'm just not a huge Harry Potter fan. Like I like it, but it's always kind of just been that thing for me. It's never. It's not like Lord of the Rings where I'm like addicted to that content. Uh, but it looks, from everything they've shown, like something, the type of gameplay I love. But I don't know how the wandy magic attacks are going to feel. If it feels kinetic, then, then yeah, I'm down for it. Oh, uh, I'll go next. I'm at a 10. I'm so excited. When this got announced, I might as well have been cutting onions because that music kicked in and I was all in. It didn't matter what they showed us. That that RPG, like the RPG Harry Potter game is what I've always wanted to just make a student and travel this area. I'm really excited for this. You've been uh, faking so. us out for months now? Yeah, dude. <laughs> like, Thanks, Chef like Eric. Mr. Cutting Onions over <laughs> yeah. here. Dude. You've been acting like you weren't excited for this game. I'll um, tell you, my hype for this game is at an all-time high right now. I've restarted the audiobooks. Uh, me and Mom watched the reunion special on HBO Max. Uh Dude, I'm just pumped beyond belief for this game. An RPG where you can play as a wizard, and then I can be a Hufflepuff. Make your own, bro. make your own wizard. I know customization. <laughs> I better be able to give my my 12 year old a mustache. <laughs> this is definitely a game I want us to, as it approaches, once it gets a date, do some content on. Yeah, yeah. like I'm at a speculation 10. and everything. Like I'm. I am excited for it. Like I said, the eight is only because I don't have history that, with yeah, it. Like y'all have history with it. So, uh, you're Man, I hope it. I hope it. Ten. Hits. He's a ten. I hope it hits this year. Really Me do. too. That's a. That's a. That game. I'm really looking forward to that game. I'm. Man. Is that an exclusive? No. No. Okay. Okay. Exclusive. Good. Uh, I don't even remember which studio that is. I know it's. I just know it was shown at the uh, PS5 yeah. announced. Uh, no, I haven't heard anything about it being exclusive. Uh, that's Warner Brothers, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. You're right. Uh, they haven't. I don't think they've ever done that. Uh, Next, we have Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. And I don't think that's gotten a date yet, has it? I know. It was supposed to be last year. Yeah. So hopefully it comes out this year. Uh, I'm at a four on this one. Uh, I'm kind of burnt out on Lego games. Like, I loved Lego Marvel Super Heroes. And I played Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2, and it was fine. Like, it wasn't, there was nothing bad about it, but... I just I feel like I did what I needed to do in the first one. And they just kind of you know. I'm kind of with you, Merle. I'm burnt out on Lego games, but this is the OG Lego game, and th- and this is where I'm going to spin around on you. You're wrong, Merle. <laughs> Dead this mouth. is going to be a fantastic game. It's oh, going to have all the Star Wars to it. We're going to play it together. We're going to have a, right. a good time. And if you don't have a good time, I'm breaking your legs. <laughs> but this is two player. Like Lego games are generally only two, right? Two uh. Players. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'll watch y'all. We'll do. We'll flip it around on you. Oh, I'll watch y'all I don't play. like that. How the uh, turntables? No, I, I, I'm with you though that it's gonna be a good game. Like, I don't see any way it's not good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's just I'm tired. No, of it. I'm just personally <laughs> attacked that you're not hyped for it. I think the only thing that keeps it from being a great game is it's the Skywalker saga. So yeah. we know we got to play through three very bad. Yeah, movies. yeah. I'm uh, I'm at a well, nine. Two bad movies and a movie that was made bad by those two movies. Uh, I'm at a seven on this one. I'm very excited to play it. Uh, Lego is the first Lego Star Wars. The original was the first Lego game, so I have an attachment to it because I love that. And it's not easy to go back to, especially yeah. when you have newer Lego games. So I'm glad it's getting a semi remake. Yeah. I think it'd be really clean. I think it's gonna be really good. It has flown on the radar a little bit. I don't think about it often, but when I get reminded of it, I'm like, oh yeah, that is. That's yeah. gonna be good. Yeah classic yeah i'm at a nine and you're at a seven and what are you at four we oui. oui. uh next is little devil inside oh <laughs> this is i'm pumped for this <laughs> I, I where you at eric go ahead i'm at a six we'll start lower hey, I, that's fine yeah i mean i'm hype but not like yeah even the new trailer i'm still kind of the enemy types so i was like oh this looks a little weird like i don't know yeah. i guess it's just art design it's a little weird see how that's what i like about it i weird. like the art design that, yeah i feel like the simple design is going to allow it to do a lot of things i don't know it to me feels kind of tim burtony like but more yeah. adventurous uh, i'm uh i'm scared it's gonna be a game that i play and then i'm like 
Okay, that was good. Yeah. And then I don't think about it. Well, that last trailer did have a lot of systems with the travel and everything, yeah. but I think I'm going to get into that. Just if, if they sink me into that character, I'll do all that. Uh, I'm at an eight on it. Uh, the skepticism is, yeah, a lot of systems. And depending on when it lands, will it be overshadowed by a bigger game? Like, that you can never predict. But yeah, I'm at an eight. I'm at a seven. A seven? Yeah. Uh, I, I'm, <laughs> but I'm closer to an eight than I am a six. Yeah, so yeah. take that, Eric. <laughs> uh, moving on to Mario plus Rabbids two, and I can't believe this hasn't sparks of yet. hope. Not Spark- two. Oh yeah. Well, two. Well, two is my excitement level for it. I'll tell you that. Me <laughs> <laughs> uh, start off on this one. Yeah. Well, I already uh, did. I'm at eight. Second. I'm definitely buying it day one. I love the first one. Uh, if it just does that, which it's not, it's doing a little more than the first one did, but yeah. if it just did what the first one was doing, I'd be into it. Uh, loving that we're getting Lumas and stuff from Galaxy. Oh, yeah. I think we're going to do some more traveling to different planets and stuff on this. So I think, I don't know, it could be, it has the potential to be really good. Yeah, I'm at a six, uh, perfectly average hype because it's a Mario, you know, it's in the Mario brand. Uh, I'm not a fan of squad base, any turn base really, but the squad base is, Give like sometimes I've gotten into that. I like Gears Tactics, okay, but I never stick with them. I can never complete a game that is in that gameplay style. Uh, so I'll give it a six. I'll play it, and we'll see if the charm holds on to me. Uh, moving on to another squad base turn based game, squad turn based game. Uh, Marvel's Midnight Suns. Oh Lord. Which I like Cole wants to start off, I think. Yeah, yeah I do want to start off, okay. actually. I'm sorry, Marley. I don't no, want to. No, you go for it. This is, <laughs> this is the biggest upset for me. <laughs> because they showed this dope trailer. Then they showed Blade. I'm like, yes, I get to play as Blade in a game. So sick. So pumped. Uh, it's a fucking squad-based, squad-turn-based XCOM game. It is unfortunate that was one of the greatest trailers. Of, what, what was that at that it was shown? Game Awards? No. It was, it was before that. You watched together. It was in between E3 and Game yeah, Awards. The same day as the Saints Row stuff. I'm trying to know what that was. Uh, I don't know. Was that an Xbox remember. thing? I don't know what it was. I doubt it. But uh, I, I'm with you there. I, I love the property. What was your number? Like I Sorry. said, I'm not a big fan of... I didn't say it. Uh, the squad, you know, turn-based stuff, but uh, it is for Axis, the studio behind oh, uh, XCOM, which I've, is the ultimate squad turn-based yeah, game. Yeah, I've heard they make great games, and it would be at a two if it wasn't for them. So I'm yeah. like, I'm at like a four or five for them. Yeah. I'm at a six. Like, uh, I'm a huge Marvel fan. Like, got it tattooed on my body. Uh, so I'm gonna check this out for that lore and see if they do it right. Like I like that they're going off the beaten path and not yeah. just going MCU every time. The new character is cool too. Like they're taking a, a chance of making a new story with a new character. That's dope. Like to, and to do that with such a huge property like Marvel. That's, I, that's where I have concerns. Yeah. I, I know I that almost most always people would. ends badly. When yeah, they do that. exactly. But you've said this is for access. Yeah. I mean, they, they, Wanted to do the Midnight Suns property, so I trust that they'll respect it, and this character won't, step, you know, encroach on that. Like in Mortal Kombat, the movie, like that's the first thing that comes to mind when they add a character to this yeah. long-running franchise. Hey, but that guy's character, that character's name was Cole, so he's cool. Oh yeah, he's a cool guy. Then. Uh, I, yeah, I'm at an eight. I'm oh, very cool. excited for it. Uh, I like I like squad based stuff, so this is I'm fine with that part of it, and it's Marvel, so there's there's a lot to love. Great that it's more characters that I don't. I'm not, you know, it's not the MCU yeah, it makes characters. You, and, you know, it's not yeah. your MCU spin on, you know. Right. But I, I'm interested in it. it seems like it's going to be a darker, darker type yeah. of game. So I'm, I'm really stoked. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I want to see more on it. Uh, so I really, I mean, we saw a lot on the interactions and relationships, and I'm not really there. Like, maybe. Yeah, I don't, it, yeah, I don't yeah. need to be friends. With I didn't Dr. need Strange. a whole 20 minute segment on no. that. I want to see more gameplay. So, what, what, the, like, the more friends you are with them, the better they fight or something? Well, I mean, you have your interactions skill, yeah. With, yeah, like skills that you can get through being friends with Captain America and stuff uh, like that. Like, it's sort of interesting. I only want to be friends with Blade and yeah. Ghost Rider. Yeah, they give you that option. Good. Uh, That's the only ones. I do feel like this is a game that 
could come out and not make a lot of money, but be a really good game, you know, because it's just in that genre. And yeah. then end up on Game Pass some, this time next year, you know. Which is weird that Marvel let them handicap it with, like, you would think Marvel would be like, no, make a... They've done really good with that, and they do want to branch out to all types of people, you know. So if you're hitting that audience, then it's an audience that might not have been... But I, it's almost story. like, I think this is what they wanted to do. I think they the XCOM, you know, they made yeah. XCOM too, so they're, they're well... Like they, they're yeah. able right, to make yeah. this game good. They didn't give it to any old schmo studio. Yeah, yeah I'm not bummed because it's going to be a bad game. I'm gonna, I'm bummed because it's not like going to be top, game. not yeah. made for you. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, I'm selfish. Moving on to a small indie game called Midnight Fight Express. Ooh, oh, yeah. I'm pumped, uh, <laughs> dude. Uh, honestly, it's at an eight. It's right there. It's more my style than Sifu because. Uh, like I like the top the isometric style. I feel like there's a lot you can do with that. It's not as heralded so far, but we'll see if it gets more hype as it goes. But uh, I love the, the combat looks fun and uh, and silly and has that same you know re- replayability yeah. as, as Sifu. I would think it, it kind of reminds me of my friend Pedro, but not too. Yes, obviously. I was thinking like Hotline Miami yeah, smash with exactly my friend Pedro. Yeah, this is what I'm getting. I'm a big sucker for games that have legitimate fight choreography, oh, like yeah. Sifu, this, uh, any game where it looks like they're doing real techniques, right. so dope. Any, Not even just games. like That goes out to movies, uh, anime. If it's got real fight techniques, I'm all about it. So I'm pumped for this. I agree. What about you, Eric? Uh, I'm at a six. I'm very excited. I'm ready to see how it plays. I think it's lesser than Sifu and Rangers because it's, this is a, it's the 2D, right? Yeah. Well, uh, uh, isometric. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. It's hard for that combat to come across like Sifu does, where you're you got this 3D space right. and you can yeah. see the different combos and stuff. So I'm just, I mean, I think it'd be good if it turns out to be a great story, then I'm all in, you know? Yeah. I think it'd be great, but I'm just, you know, it's right there. I think this will be more slapstick than, yeah. than Sifu. Like you're going to be picking up random items and bopping this guy and then going yeah. on to fight the next guy. Like it's going to be, so, you know, I mean, it's got to be different, you know, not as. Up close and personal, obviously. Uh, moving on to Party Animals, uh, which for me is a nine. It's the party game. It's another indie. Uh, it's been out on PC for a while, and I'm a sucker for party games that allow you to beat up your friends and just elimination battle royale style with all the different things you can pick up. Uh, where are, you at? are y'all at on this? Uh, yeah, I'm at a seven. I mean, I'm excited to play it. It looks fun. It looks like it's going to be a lot of fun to play. You know, that's about it. You know, it's, yeah. it looks good. You're just ready to play that gorilla. No, I can't yeah. wait. That's, that's the only, I'm only going to play the gorilla. I don't care who else is in the game. <laughs> I think I'm at a six. Um, I was like, it's, it looks like Gang Beast. And I was like, man, Gang Beast. I was hyped for it for a long time. And then I played it. Well, it looks like if Gang Beast better. had time, like yeah. if they had yeah. actually finished it. Because, I mean, Gang Beast is fun, but it's not, like, deep at all. This looks like it's got more deep mechanics and everything. That's what I hope is that each stage has something unique. That, it, yeah, yeah, it does. It mat- you know. I watched uh, Jacksepticeye play a lot of this and, and uh, PewDiePie, and it, it just looks like a good, silly time. Like, I, I love anything we can just pop on when we're hanging out and play. And it is a Game Pass game, so that, that helps. Okay, well, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Moving on to Redfall, uh, which I think right now sits in summer. It doesn't have a specific yeah. date. Uh, where are y'all feeling on this one? Uh, I'm kind of pumped for it. I mean, y'all didn't really. It, it was, it's arcane, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So the vampire game. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it looks dope. Uh, the trailer, but the only thing about it is I didn't see. Any, we didn't see any gameplay, did we? No, uh, and they showed some pre-alpha stuff. They didn't show. I think it was leaked pre-alpha stuff. Yeah. It showed that it was a first-person game, which kind of took me aback. I thought it was going to yeah. be third person. I was picturing Sunset Overdrive, Yeah, but vampires. I'm six. Co-op. I'm at a six right now. Just I feel like it can definitely get higher the more we see, but I have a feeling this is not going to come out this year. Uh, I don't know. I mean, they seem pretty confident in it and they just released Deathloop. yeah well let's say they got two studios arcane does oh yeah so they've been working on both of them uh i think the first person thing takes points away from me i think so too not that i mean i love first person shooters but i'm a little tired of that 
Like it's supposed to be a Left for Dead like. Yeah, when it's a goofy, it like. when it's a goofy like fun time, I want third person, and this doesn't look to me like it's a serious. Yeah, I would rather it play like. I just wanted it to play like Sunset Overdrive. Right, really, yeah. us going around. What's your What's your level for it, Mario? Would you? Uh, I'm at an eight. Like yeah. still, just because I trust that studio and it's a big Xbox exclusive, and I feel like it's probably going to be their biggest game besides Starfield this year. But uh, I was closer to a 10 whenever i thought it was going to be you know third person open world stuff uh yeah i'm i'm starting to think that arcane games maybe not for me <laughs> because i tried uh dishonored couldn't really get into it couldn't get into death loop I, i'm sitting at a five i'm definitely gonna try it though especially if it gets good feedback you know i'll try it and just nothing about it really excites me mm-hmm. so far definitely need to see more yeah uh, like it, it just ha- hasn't had much time to to present itself uh moving on to replaced the that's that little that indie pixel pixel art beautiful pixel yeah. art the music sounds awesome the, i just don't know if it's gonna be what we've seen yeah like uh the yeah. trailers they did as good of a job on a trailer as you can so like based off of that i'd say i'm like a nine but i'm gonna go and i'm gonna be a little uh say. diplomatic with it and yeah. say eight uh, just to save my ass in case it isn't what it looks yeah. like. Save it. You better save it. Yeah, yeah I'm right there with you, Marley. Um, save yours too. Yeah, it's good. it looks pretty, but I feel like the ascent looked pretty when right. we played it, yeah. and then it turned well, out to be what seven. it is. Seven. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I'm. I, I you know, yeah. I want this to be good because it look like it looks cool, but there's not a lot to say on it because yeah. there ain't been a lot to see. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. So about you, Eric? Yeah, I'm at a seven. I'm definitely into it. I like to. I think it's gonna be really good. I yeah. think it's gonna be a good game. Yeah, we need to see more on that one. Uh, moving on to Scorn, which is this fall, but I don't think they've given it a date yet. Uh, I got a seven on that one, uh, just because it has like very little ado about it. Like no one is talking about it much. Like, it makes me worried that it isn't going to get its place you know i think i yeah i'm right there at a seven two and i was more excited i think before i saw the gameplay i don't know if that really? it, it didn't add to it. it definitely didn't add to my hype it was it looked okay i mean there's it's just not standing out yeah i mean i like the way it looks like it, it looks super weird and you got these uh, like real these alien guns that are like actually uh organic yeah. material with eyeballs and stuff on so like it could be super memorable for that. Oh yeah. And the gameplay looked stressful, uh, but it didn't look kinetic or anything like, you know, it's, but it's a horror game, so it shouldn't be, but, uh, I don't know. I'm still in a wait and see mode on that one. It's coming to game pass. So I'm, I yeah, I mean, yeah, that, yeah. Uh, but it could very well be a game that I start and just don't finish. I'm at a four on this one. I really don't care about this game. Yeah. It's yeah, just not my, it's just a stat. Like, uh, it just looks like, this like, podcast. like torture. Like, I don't know, man. Yeah. It just doesn't look. I, I mean, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. No, I feel you. That aesthetic is uh, a little disturbing. So it can be like when you sit into a game. Like you're more of the type when you sit down for a game, you don't want to be stressed out the whole time. Yeah. Like I played Hellblade the other day, trying to finish that, and I'm like, God, this is work because I'm stressed the hell yeah. out the whole time. Yeah. That's how I'm about horror games. I wish I was more like Eric, where like. The adrenaline is is worth it. You know? oh, yeah. oh, I will definitely play this game if you're all in the room with me and we can make fun of it and get <laughs> yeah. scared together. It'd be a good one to stream. Yeah. But I don't want to play this. I'm not going to get home from work after a long day right. yeah. of crawling under houses and, and then have to play this game. No, uh, no. no, thank you. No, I'm with you. But maybe you want to get home and play Splatoon 3. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> Two. <laughs> Oh, you're at two? Wow. I've never played a Splatoon. Don't care to play a Splatoon. Oh, it's, come on, it's got to be higher than two. You at least, we're going to be playing it. I'll watch you guys play it. I'm not like super stoked for this game, but it's definitely a seven. I'm, I'm planning on playing this game, but I, like you, I mean, I've never played one, but I know the hype behind them, and it, Nintendo knows good multiplayer games. Look, you know, look this games. is this is what I do every year when we talk about games that we're pumped for. I'm like, oh yeah, I'll play that game. Don't that game looks sick, and then I never play it. I'm just trying to be realistic. But this, this year, is one you'll play with us, like because we're gonna have them, and we're gonna we're or gonna you'll have sit them. out in the rain at the window and watch us. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah. I mean, 
That's fair. Whatever floats my boat, I guess. What about you, Eric? I'm at a six. I had never either played in a Splatoon game. But, I, you know, in the, what time I, you know, I can always jump into one. So, I mean, I like the uh, the trailer they showed. And I think I like the gameplay. I just have never really. First one came out on Wii U, so it's hard to jump yeah, in on that. That hurts it for sure. Yeah. And then two came out, and I was like, well, I didn't play the first one. Why start here? But then, I don't know. I just That and Pikmin are two series that were hamstrung by being in that era because yeah. that's why i haven't picked either of them up like it, it, i wasn't in the nintendo ecosystem at that point yeah i mean i'm definitely excited it's so the shot. game the game mechanic is like you have a gun that shoots paint and you you're have to, to cover the yeah. battle you're, you're trying to have the most paint on the arena ground. i mean yeah, yeah. you can fight each other so that they're not painting okay like it's, it's like a shooter but uh I don't Nintendo know. shooter pretty much. Basically, yeah. So it's, it's like cool mechanic, the yeah. skate the uh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater game where you that do type, tricks. Right, yeah. Yeah. Oh uh, okay. Oh, I'm see? still at a two. We need to look at my <laughs> <laughs> still at a two point five. This game is brought to you or this podcast is brought to you by Splatoon Three. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thanks, Nintendo. Uh next is Stray, which is gonna be soon. Uh, it got delayed again, didn't it? What is it? I, I haven't heard a date besides when it got pushed to 2022. Well, I could have swore it had a date like, like I had heard a quarter. Month. It could. It oh, may. The cat game? Yeah. By Annapurna? The cat. Yeah, but I think it got pushed again. Uh, that game looks delightful as all hell. Yeah, it's an eight for me. I like, I, I'm like. i very excited for it. Uh, yeah, I can't wait to get my mom to I sit trust with Annapurna. And play it. Yeah, yeah, they're good. And it looks, I don't know, it just looks cute as hell, man. Like. I think it's going to be delightful. And they do and, these thoughtful things every time they make a game. And now that I have a stray cat that lives near me and we've taken her to the vet and we feed her. You've already been I'm, playing a stray. I, I could have developed this cat. You put a GoPro on her head. <laughs> I, and you have you her? seen those? Little tangent. Have you seen those GoPro videos on Instagram? They put a GoPro on their cat. Cute. It is cute. I bet they get into some nefarious stuff. Yes. Uh, <laughs> so I'm at an eight. Cole? Probably. Oh, Cole's already uh, been eight. So hey, yeah, so he got yeah. a head start. Uh, yeah. I'm at a six. Six. Right. It, it looks fine. Yeah. I'm just you know, it looks all right. How PlayStation exclusive. I know how you are about PlayStation. Oh, it's a it's PlayStation a seven. exclusive. Um, no, it's still six. Yeah. You got PlayStation? I have a PlayStation Four that I bought from my good pal. Uh, next is the biggest game on the list, and that's Zelda: Breath of the Wild Two. Dang, that small game got a six. Sequel, whatever. Yeah, right. Can't believe that. Uh, it's not coming out in 2022. You don't think so? I don't know. I no. think it has to come out in 2022. Uh, yeah, it feels. I don't know. It's hard to place. I don't really have a guess. Want to bet? I want y'all list? to go first. I made a ten for this actually. Really? Yeah, because uh, the second one's dope, and I've played, tried to play it like, or the first one. I mean, my bad. My God. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I started it over several different times, and the only thing that keeps me is the one of your big problems is the weapons break way too easy yeah. but other than that it's a fantastic game so i'm really pumped for this one i want to uh, hear it now oh i'm at a 10 <laughs> uh got the first one day one didn't really have high high expectations but i bought a switch so i was like might as well get the game to come out with it and put over 120 hours into it love it love every minute i play that game just exploring the world and stuff so i'm if, if this one's to more of the same, then I'm I'm all in. Nice. Uh, this is where I want to do the big reveal that I've been playing Breath of the Wild again. What? Uh, <laughs> for those that don't know, I had so many issues with it. Like just, it wasn't. I got all the hype before I had it. I like before I owned it. Everyone loved it so much, and I got in there, and it is beautiful, and there's really great things about it, but. Certain things just kept irritating the hell out of me. The freaking weapons breaking, the just inconvenient times that it's raining and I can't get over a mountain. Uh, but I went back to it, and I'm really excited to say I like it. Oh, I don't love it. There's still those <laughs> things that frustrate me. The weapons breaking being the main one. It's always on my mind. Anytime I hate that every time I'm fighting someone, I'm thinking about this. My weapon's about to break. And then, like, is it worth it to fight this thing? It gets because better. <laughs> I know. Like, I've gotten better weapons now, and it is yeah. more fun. And I've gotten more into the crafting, which helps a lot. Uh, we could do a whole episode on this about my first time completing it, because I plan yeah. on completing it. I do think about it a lot now. It's sunk into me that much that I think about it when I'm not playing it. 
and that means I'm happy a lot to hear better. that. My favorite yeah. part of that game is uh, the cooking, just throwing anything oh, yeah, in the pot, and then just hearing the hearing the the great music or hearing the bad oh, music. Yeah. Dubious food. So I want to say this: I didn't really cook a whole lot the first time. Really? Yeah. That's uh, the only thing getting me through. I like, just went and bought what I needed. I didn't really. Really? Yeah. Uh, wow. I think the cooking's one of the best things about the game because you can well, get we can do sticky whole, situations. We can just talk about this yeah, we're going to have an episode discussing yeah. this for a first time completion of it uh, in 2022. Uh, we're in two now. Uh, before the second one releases. Yeah, yeah before the second one releases. Uh, but we'll move on because this is going to take up a lot of time. So, yeah, I'm at a solid nine on that one. Uh, Outlast Trials. Ooh. Yeah, this is a good one. Yeah, I forgot that. I've, I mean, I kind of. No. Well, they're acting like like they're yeah. not talking about it. They uh, finally showed something. I'm gonna kick this one off. Year. Yeah, I'm at a nine. I'm really pumped. I mean, I you know I don't really think about it, but I mean, I love Outlast series. I think both of those are really excellent. The scariest kind of games I've ever played. And I think doing it with friends will be just as fun. And I think it'll be a lot, a lot of great times and good memories on that one. I'm worried that it's gonna be Dead by Daylight ish and not really. A cohesive I think they thing. dispelled that with that last trailer. Okay, I think it okay. is a co-op story. Okay, like okay. It looked like in that trailer. I mean, the trials part of it where if you're doing a different scenario, it could be endless with the possibility. Yeah. Right? Like you're not going to be in the same, maybe not be in the same location. I mean, it could be really good. I could be real, really far off on this, but my take is that the trials are, you are being experimented on, yeah. both of you, and you're escaping this, this lab. But I, again, they haven't, blatantly said that that's what yeah. the trailer looked like to me uh i'm at an eight on it uh i'm not a huge horror fan guy or horror fan but uh i love horror games that when we can play them together dead by daylight yeah. or uh which other one did we play together well we did like well the uh, forest you know stuff like that yeah. anything that gives us a chance to lighten my load a little bit and focus on and, something uh, other than the game most resident evils we played passing the sticks so. right so that that makes it easy yeah i'm at, I'm at an eight too um Especially if you guys are getting it, and I know I'll have someone to play it with. Uh, yeah, dude. The, the, like I said earlier in, in one of... There is nothing more fun to me than being scared out of your wits and, and your, your buddies are with yeah. you. Yeah. Like just screaming like a little yeah. child. It's how, it's great. Yeah, I, I agree. It's, it's <laughs> is it funny? Uh, I want to see more on it. I want to date <laughs> because I feel like we've known about this for a long time. Uh, ending... Oh, not ending. We got two more. Uh, Lord of the Rings Gollum. Uh, another game I hate to make that this you is coming so close to the another end. game to make you scream like a child. Yeah, uh, in <laughs> all the wrong ways. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say this is a one for me. I wish this game did not exist. I'm right there. I'm right there with you. I'm right one. there. We're all in. Yeah. This is the first, first triple first one. Three. <laughs> I've heard Lord of the Rings fans on other podcasts being like, "I'll take anything that I can get as far as Lord of the Rings," and I'm like, "No." Don't bastardize this thing I love so much because I'm a huge Shadow of War and Shadow of Mortar fan, but it even bastardized it a little bit. Like some of the lore that they were using and like changing yeah. some things. Uh, but the game was good enough that I got over that. Like I, I don't think well, of it that way as canon, but they. I, uh, I've rewatched the original trilogy recently and now knowing that this game is in production and all that. And I was watching Gollum. I was like, why? Why would they want like I don't care enough about right. Gollum to yeah, want like, a game. I got so what's the core? What's movies? the core gameplay? Just stealth, stealth yeah. and getting through the level. What do you get I at the guess. end of the level? I don't know. Like what are you progressing toward? The ring, but I mean, we know we know yeah. how that ends. Yeah. Yeah. If it wasn't bad Called enough, lava. just what it is. It's the worst I could ever have imagined Gollum looking. Yeah. So oh yeah, that's a bad design. Looks disgusting like i couldn't even look at it uh cole was in the room when i watched the new trailer and it <laughs> he was so, so hurt much it, it, it's like they were ruining my childhood by the pain in his ugly big-eyed dopey looking what thing. i think they're trying to do is make him look cutesy i guess but why lord of the rings does not need to be cutesy <laughs> exactly I, I, I just don't understand who pitched this. Like that's the character we want to right. game about. Yeah, like there's a thousand other things you could do. You could do a whole like a whole game about the dwarven mines. That would be sick. You oh, know? Yeah, yeah oh, I played. Yeah, I played through that for sure. Uh, but moving on to our last game, I guess we should have saved Breath of the Wild two for last. But Warhammer Dark Tide. Whew. Yeah, it's a big no. Wow, I've saved it, that when you have this. Right. Well, it's been a long time since they showed this game. It was at, uh, 
I think it was at Microsoft's E3 two years ago. Uh, really? And it looked like it was going to come out last year, but it got pushed. Uh, it's a Warhammer first-person shooter co-op game, and it looks it looks fine. Like and it's going to be on Game Pass, so that gives it a bump for me. But I'm still at a five. Like I, yeah. I'm pl- going to play it, but I'm not especially looking forward. See, to it. See, if you were to start off without showing me that before we started this, yeah. I would have said one, and I would have said another word about it. But yeah. the trailer is good. It looks clean. I'm at a. I mean, I'm still at a four. The shooting looks good. Yeah. Um, the trailer looks uh, good too. And yeah, no, I'm at a. Uh, I'm at a five with you, Marley. That's fair. I uh, hate that we didn't end on the big one. I should have structured that better. But that'll do it for. Uh, I mean, I'm sure we forgot. Something small, but you can blame GameSpot's or me upcoming list for that. Uh, but that'll do it for this episode of Absurdly Nerd. We'll see you next time. <laughs>